guys. So let me just find the link and I'll share. We'll crack some MH2 packs. Um, I'm really excited to open these, to be honest with you, because I haven't opened MH2 um, in several months. So this should be fun. Um, <clears throat> It's funny. Sometimes I can find the video on my phone to show the link quick. Sometimes it takes a bit. There it is. All right. Um, yeah, so let me show this link. I'll tag you guys, um, and then we can get going here. Let's see. Let's just do the count. Um, usually do it order of um you know purchase and all that but it's a little mixed up so what i'm going to do is um penny has 18 packs basically this is a purchase order penny had four olsen had one penny had 14 the luxor had one to simplify what i'm going to do is uh olsen will get one the luxor will get one they'll do all pennies 18 that's what i'm going to do uh it, it like again it doesn't really matter because these are hanger packs which are already randomized and i'm going to shuffle them um and they're all obviously i <laughs> i say it but you know um i think i've been ripping packs and oxit now for quite a long time so um these are actually really hard to shuffle without making a really big mess but all right I'll just kind of do that and what i'm gonna do is just kind of all right uh olsen i'll put it here it's hanging over but luxoro let's just say this one and then we'll do penny we'll do one Two, we'll just drop them. Three, four. This one I dropped. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. There we go. Huge pack. Huge stack. Let me get these out of the way. I just want to show you so you guys can see them all. Um, all right. Put these aside. Yeah, to be honest with you, it was very difficult not just cracking all these open as soon as they came in. But I figured we'd have more fun with it. So, and if they don't all sell right away, I will be happy to open some for myself. I'll be very happy to open some for myself. Because the thing is, MH2 is awesome. Okay. Uh, MH2, let me, uh, oh, Olsen. Luxro and Penny. Penny. <laughs> Penny huge stack. Uh, let me just double check pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, fourteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Yeah, okay. Um, MH2 is fun, anyways. But when you're talking about MH2 set, it's a whole extra thing because. You know, you could see uh, multiple fetches. Multiple fetches. You could see lots of good stuff. I mean, they're set packs. You're gonna get more rares, more mythics. You're gonna get the list cards. Um, so we're talking about a premium set like MH2. You know, set packs are just so much fun. So I'm gonna pull up the uh, card list real quick, just to double check. Um, I don't think there's any commons that are shippable. Uh, I'm just gonna double check though. Um, I checked earlier today before I made a listing, and there wasn't. Like, I mean, all the commons were bulk. So, oh, cool. John's grabbing some heart. Um, I think John, we're going to hold off until like Friday or something like that. But again, see, normally if I do like a you know sealed box, I'd like to sell a box. But with hanger packs, I don't really care. Um, you know, I'll just, you guys can buy some, pay later. It doesn't matter. Uh, I'll crack them when you guys pay. It's all good. Um, all right, I'm looking at commons. No, nothing. Okay, for commons, there's nothing for MH2. It's all it's all bulk. You know, I, it probably will all be bulk for a while because people are cracking so much to this set over the past year. Uh, uncommons. Yeah, we got a few. We got Dragon's Rice Chandler, Tyler's Provisioner, Counterspell, Prismatic, Ending, Liquid Metal, Torque. That's it. Uh, we got the retro stuff, the retro foils. Um, you know, the weird thing, though, is like when it comes to um, set packs, with set packs, you don't generally get like as many in a booster box of the commons and uncommons as um, 
a draft box. Because draft box, you're going to draft it. You can actually make decks and play with it. But set is mostly for the rares and mythics and all that kind of stuff. So, all right. Um, all right. Who did I say was first? I think it was Olsen. Let me double check. Olsen, here's your pack. <clears throat> so there are some uncommons to look for, commons we won't. Uh, mythics, rares, foils, and all cards of value will be shipped. Let's do it this way. There we go. Yeah, Modern Rise is too set, dude. They, these, these packs are awesome. These, these are so much fun. Um, and I hate to even say it, but I did like 875 because I think that's the cheapest you can get like anywhere. So that's the way I did them. Um, trust me when I tell you, I'm not making like hardly anything on these packs. I just did it for the fun of it. Um, but I just wanted to rip these. And I think it would be fun. So here we go. All right. Art card, nothing. Mountain. <clears throat> Follow Watcher. Unholy Heat. Gouge Zealot. Uncommons. Miles Skillion. Renz Run Hydra. Constable of the Realm. All right, rare. We got Thought Monitor. Dress Down. Hunting Pack for an Uncommon. You got Shatterstorm. Foil Arc Bound Tracker. All right, so that's going up to you. Um, Olsen, that was your pack. All right. There you go, bud. Let's pull it aside. <clears throat> uh, the Luxoro. I got your one right here, buddy. Like I said, these are hanger packs, so um, totally random. Like, you can't, like, open up, like, a box of 30 packs and say, oh, you're going to get, you know, two or three fetches and so many mythics. Like, these could be anything. That's the cool thing. Like, you never know. All right, card, Mountain. Gargadon, Galvanic Relay, Arcbound Tracker, Faithless Salvaging, Revolutionist, Flash Claw, lots of commons in that one. All right, Uncommons, Said and Done. Magus of the Bridge for the Rare, Gorilla Shaman, Showcase Gargadon, and we got a Foil Dark Moss Bridge. All right, the Luxro, that one is going to you. And now we get Penny, who has uh, everything else. And. So just checking. John M was grabbing some packs, but I think he's gonna wait till uh, end of the week, uh, which is totally fine. Like I said, just that's totally fine. Doesn't matter to me. So Penny, let's get cracking. <clears throat> what we're gonna do is we're gonna um, I'm gonna rip open all these, all these first, just to get that done. I'm hoping for some good pulls. I'd love to see lots of fetch lands. I'd love to see lots of um, Dragavans, some some foil retro frame stuff. I mean, I would love to see some, some crazy stuff in this because it's funny. It's been a year. Um, it's been a year since this has been out, believe it or not, like, which is crazy to even think because I remember when this did came out and it was just insane. It was This was like what Double Masters 2 is right now where it was like, I mean, grab, grab as much as you can. You know, it's funny, it was, uh, what was it, six months ago or something like that, um, there was a, like a dry period between print runs. And, dude, if you look at, look at, um, I think it was like six months ago, there was a, a period for a few months where the set boxes were, like, scarce. And they went all the way up to, I think, like 275 a box. They were, like, 200 a box, like, everywhere, like 210, 220. And they jumped from... When all of a sudden you couldn't find them, there was a 275 a box, like real quick. So that's why I think this set is going to be, it's, it's cool to open them now because I think anytime they're going to just say that they're done with them and they're just, they're out. And when they do, like these packs are going to be expensive because there's just so much good stuff in it. I mean, you got a box, you got a set that like has been open as much as it has. And there's still like a $70 mythic in there. Um, I mean, granted, it's, you know, it's an amazing card, but like people are still willing to pay it. They buy it all the time and there's so many of them out there. It just shows like how good the cards are. Um, the fact that all the fetches aren't like $7 a piece shows that like how much people want the packs and the cards in them. So when these things go out of print, dude, like the prices are going to start going up crazily fast. <clears throat> all right. So Penny, uh, good luck with all of your packs, bud. Really. All right. Foil Swamp. There we go. 
uh, Scopos Reaver, Fodder Tosser. It's funny. I remember when I, did, I was at the pre-release for this, and um, this card actually helped me win a game. <laughs> it's so funny. Terminal Agony. Uh, I got the bridge. Our uncommons. We got Fast and Furious. Dragon Rage Channel. Very nice. Like a $2 uncommon. That's what you want to grab. Abiding Grace. All right. Nick Those Paragon. Flame Rift. Marble Gargoyle. That's the old foil there. Uh, Galvanic Relay. Yeah, all right. That was the only one rare. All right. All right, cool. We got the uh, Dragon Rage channel. Very nice. Let's see. Pull some good mythics. Another foil swamp. All right. Shatterstorm. Bundan Harvest. Avenger. Anarchomancer. Another bridge. All right. Uncommon's Arcus Accolade. Mythic. Sarah's Emissary. All right, very nice. So, got a mythic early on. Very nice. Oh, mythic retro frame. What's it going to be? Three mana mythic retro frame. Is it that um, Merfolk? Yes, it is. Phylum of the Sea Skies. Assuming one of those major packs. Seal of Cleansing. Jade Avenger. Foil Fire Top. Okay, now that was it. Still, Mythic, um, Sarah's Emissary, and an old school. That old school dude is so awesome. Look at that. That's cool. Um, Penny, nice pack, dude. Very nice pack. All right. So, good start already. Two Mythics. Planes, another bridge, so shiny. Orchard Strider, Glimmer Baron, Liquid Metal Torque. That's definitely going out to you. Tide Shaper. All right, Karth the Lion for a rare. Obsidian Charmaw, Counter Spell, another good uncommon. Penny doing good so far. Mind Collapse, and we have a Retro Foil Terminal Agony for a common. That is very cool. I don't think those ones are worth a lot, but dude, I bet you give it enough time, man. Like, let's look at it. How it's got the Boiling, like it's just it's everywhere, but it's really pronounced on the outside. Very cool. Just a little more three battle. Yeah, we can do that. Um, dude, I'm totally cool with a with a battle. Penny, do you want me to save one of your packs from your lot? Because I know John's gonna wait till end of the week, so it's up to you. You let me know if you want to do another pack or just save one of these. All right, art card. Oh, and obviously there's a signed art card. I'll send that out too. But if it's not, it's not really worth anything. Bridge, Foundry Helix, <clears throat> Arcbound Prototype, Thraven Watcher, Captain Ripley Vance, Spreading Insurrection. All right, we got Dermotaxi for a rare, Upheaval for another rare. We got Retroframe Vile and Tumor and a Foil Recalibrate. Oh, here you go. List card, uh, Obsessive Stitcher from M21 came out last year. Like, uh. Yes, please. Which one, Penny? Do you want me to hold a pack aside? Do you mean to just hold one of these aside? I'm assuming you want me to just kind of wait on it. All right, I'm going to keep cracking. You let me know. I'm assuming you want me to take one of the packs that I've got in this pile to save for your battle for when we do it. Just let me know if that's right. I love that Mirage because that's the old Mirage um, art, but it doesn't do it justice with the new ink. The old ones, but way better. Mirage lands. Look at the Mirage lands. The art, it's just the best lands there is. Uh, Blossoming Calm. Vectus Gloves. Healer's Flock. A lot of uncommons. Ether Sworn Sphinx. Brainstone. A lot of uncommons. Falcon Infiltrator. All right. Moderation for a rare. Query and Ranger. Abundant Harvest and a Foil Soul Migration. All right. Slowing down. We need some heavy hitting packs. We had that one really good pack with two methods, but we got to uh, get some fetch lands, that's for sure. <clears throat> All right. Swamp. Chrome Courier. Catalyst Provisioner. Is that one of them? I don't think it is, but let me double check. I feel like it was, but maybe it's not anymore. Oh, no. Yeah, it is. Yeah, okay. Yep. That's definitely a pull worthy card. So I'm glad I double checked. Um, Combine Chrysalis, Batterbone, Goblin Trap Runner, Junk Winder, Specimen Collector. Hey, there we go. Yavamaya, Cradle of Growth. Um, not a fetch land, but still a good land that you want to pull. Angelic Curator, Mind Collapse, and we got a Foil Razor Tide Bridge. Those actually those foil uh, artifact lands for the set. Uh, those commons are, um, they're actually, I think, a decent value. I think they're worth like a buck or so a piece just because they're. 
the foil ones are rare. Like, if you get artifact lands, the lands that are indestructible, I mean, can't go wrong with that. All right. Companion, Bridge, Breathless Knight, Kolos, Echoing Return, Sinister Starfish. All right. Ties Provisioner. Very nice. You get these uncommons, they're worth a few bucks. Definitely helps. Persist for a rare. Enchantress's Presence. Very nice. Arcus Acolytes and another, hey, another foil bridge. All right. Those are good for the common foils. <clears throat> no fetch lands. We need a fetch land. Okay, at this point, uh, you're not responding, but I'm going to assume you want me to hold one pack off for a battle. So at some point, just please confirm that. Cabal Initiate. Can't go. World Weary. Guilt Blade Prowler. Air Amiga. All right, Uncommons. Arcbound Well. Uh, Arcbound Shikari. Rare. Never Betrayal. There we go. Titania. Protector of the Argoth. Blacksmith Skill. Foil Captured by the Legax. All right. We need to pull Spice here. Quick. It's not terrible, but we're, we, we're, we're due. That's for sure. <clears throat> Swamp. Bridge. Hellmongrel. Tragic Fall. Kitchen Imp. Uncommons. Tide Shaper. Break the Ice. All right, Penny, was that for the battle? Let me know. Sudden Edict. Oh, here we go. Another Mythic. You hit the Mythic. are crazy. Turok, Dread, Cantor. Very nice. Mog, Salvage. Sudden Edict for the Showcase. And a Foil, uh, Gouge, Zealot. And now we have a sh um, list card. Evermind from one of the combo Gauge sets. This is Arcane. Okay. Very cool. Okay, so that one will save off. All right. So I'll assume, yeah, one of John's will do for battle. And then if Lee Lu grabs one, then uh, I'll hold it off. All right. Art card, no signature mountain. Lose focus. Mental journey, recalibrate. The how does ploy. Missile bridge. Initiate. All right, graceful restoration. Out of time for a rare. Soul snare. Ravenous Squirrel, and a Foil Cabal Initiate. All right. We got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight packs left. We got to get something spicy. I mean, we definitely got some Mythics, which is great. But, like, got the other Maya, which is awesome. Need to pull some fetches or, um, I don't know, just let's do, like, a Foil Retro Frame, you know, for a rare Mythic. would be awesome. Blossoming Count for an Uncommon Healer's Flock. Rare Territorial Cabu. Bone Shredder, Bone Shards, and a Foil Bone Shards. Okay. Keep going. Let's keep going here. Uh, our card, Planes, Lens Flare, Blacksmith Skill, Tormod's Crypt Keeper, Arcbound Mouser, Good Scoundrel. All right. Road to Ruin, Territory of Cabo again for a rare, Nykthos Paragon for a rare, Triple Rare Pack, Upheaval. Oh, nice. Uh, Ornithopter of Paradise. Um, Retro Frame. Yeah, I'll have, that's definitely going to see. That's a cool card. Uh, Phantasmal Dreadmaw and a Deathless Knight. Throne of Hills Rain Uncommon for a list card. That's uh, that's just... It's like, why? <laughs> you know? I mean, it's cool. I mean, it's a little throwback, but like, it's not like it's super old or anything. All right. You got Foil Island. Uh, Lash Claw. You got the Reaver. Fodder Tosser. Terminal Agony. Timeless Witness. Now, is that, that's the one I think I made. It, it's not. But no, it's not. Okay, that's just bull. Uh, Chattering Ardor. All right, Fractured Sanity. Definitely a cool mill card. There we go. Finally, we got a fetch land. All right, Verdant Catacombs. Very nice. Queer and Ranger. Blacksmith Skill. We got a Foil Bloodhound. All right, cool. So we got one. Good, good. We got one of the good ones, too. It wasn't like Arid Mesa or something like that or, you know, Marsh Flats. Oh, sorry, taking a quick little break. Not bad, Penny, not bad. We definitely need uh, that big hit, though. It's tough. Like, I mean, it's one of those sets where, I mean, look at, like, Double Masters, you know, too. Like, you can pull, you know, that $200 card, you know. And in and, and this set, you can pull that, you know, what's what's a Ragavan borderless foil worth nowadays? Like, 150 You know? I used to have done me pretty dirty in the past. Yeah, I can't. It's, you know... But here's the thing. Here's the way you look at it: is 
if you're going to open packs um, and you're hoping for you know good value out of it, you might as well get the better pack. You know, you're not going to open um, like a standard set like nowadays. Like, what's the standard now? Like, you're not going to get. I mean, maybe you can pull like a meat hook, mac, meat hook massacre out of like a you know midnight hunt, um, but still, like the odds are just you know it's one mythic out of a set. Some of the rare lands are okay. Um, not a lot of packs nowadays you can open up and get like a really like a really good value um but for like you know eight nine maybe even ten bucks for a pack of this you could get something that's really good like you know you do have decent odds to get something that's like really good so but yeah it can definitely do you dirty that's for sure <clears throat> uh solar migration patrol marble gargoyle ornithopter paradise scurry oak sanctuary raptor all right rare Lonus Cryptozoologist. Greed. That's a very cool card. Uh, Faithless Salvaging Showcase. And a Foil Arcbound Slash. Oh, this is cool. Uh, Mirage List. Um, Cadaverous Knight. Has Flanking and Regenerates. It's funny because, like, I see, like, the Mirage, right? And, like, I mean, again, I played back in the day. So, I... I just even you know even like almost 30 years later I remember like opening packs back then and like even just right away I could tell it's not the original you know but like it's still really cool to see like you know open a pack and that mirage comes out that's just cool all right Penny you got four packs left this one and three more let's see no signature all right Definitely, you got some good stuff, that's for sure. Um, you know, Gassi, Urza Saga, Esper Sentinel, there's so many good cards that we haven't quite seen yet. But Tavern Scoundrel, Sorrows, Violent Tumor, Timeless Witness, uh, Clattering Augur, there we go, Magus the Bridge for a rare, Mythic, Retro Frame, Torok, very nice for a Mythic. you got lots, oh, there's another Mythic coming. Titania again. You've gotten like five Mythics or six Mythics, so you, you're hitting them, it's just not, you know, not the... Big ones, lens flare and a foil scopos and oh look at this, uh, list card. We definitely hit some good list, some list cards. Um, Theros, no, Journey to the Nyx, Doomwake Giant. Is that Journey to the Nyx? I think. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. All right. Uh, three left, Penny. Definitely some cool packs. Like you got some good cards coming your way. Um, you, you haven't hit that home run card yet, but we, we're still going. But um, definitely got some cool stuff. We did get a fetch land. Um, we did get lots of mythics, so that's cool. Let's see. Strider Vanguard. Uh, Underworld Hermit. Squirrel Sanctuary. Uh, Sanctifier and Vec for a rare. Search the premises. Search the premises. Hunting Pact. Uncommon. World Warrior. I, I love that art in that showcase. It's just like wicked creepy. Uh, Foil Vermin Gorger. All right. Two packs left. So the cool the cool thing, but at the same time, the tough thing is when you have the hanger packs, if you order, you know, if you if you get a booster box, you have 30 packs, you know certain things you're gonna hit. You know, like I said, you're gonna hit two, three, four um fetches, you're gonna hit you know four or five mythics, what six list cards or whatever it is, um, seven list cards. It's a good and a bad thing with the uh the hanger packs. Like I, I think it's a good thing because I mean you better have the randomization. Galvanic relay. I, dude, I want to give it to him. Chattering Augur, Legion of Vanguard. I want to give him the, the, the borderless foil one. <laughs> Hermit, Scroll Sanctuary. If Penny remembers, uh, I did open a lottery card from a uh, online kit box, and he got it. So, uh, uh, Cryptozoologist again. Goblin Bombardment. Terminal Agony and a foil blacksmith. Oh, look at this. <laughs> look at that. Blacksmith skill. And Uro. God. Uh, for a set card, I didn't know that was in the uh, in the list. Uro, Titan of Nature's Wrath. How cool is that? From Theros Beyond Death. I remember when that um, when Theros came out, Theros was a crap set, and but still, like Uro was like that wasn't like a forty fifty dollar card because um, it was on game nights as a commander, and Josh Lee Kwai played him, and um, it was like it was brutal. It took over the game, and he still lost. That was the best part, though. And that card um spiked but then they banned it i think in like a couple of different formats or something like that so now it's like a, it's probably a 10 12 card the list copy is probably worth more 
So I'd say it's probably like a $15 card right there. All right, Penny, last pack. Here we go. Uh, art card, no signatures. All right, Melvin. Bridge. Steelfin Whale. Lens Flare. Come on, Penny. Something big in the end here. Blacksmith Skill. Tormod's Crypt Keeper. Graceful Restoration for the Uncommon. Young Necromancer. Hey, there we go. I like, okay, it's the Aired Mesa, but you know what? It's a fetch land. It's definitely well worth the price of the pack. So very cool. We got two fetches. Um, so we know that these set packs are good. Extruder. Kitchen Imp. Greed. Uh, foil. Very nice. All right, Penny. Very cool. Um, yeah, dude, you got some good hits. Um, let's go real quick. Arid Mesa. Uro. Uh, Goblin Bombardment. Very cool with that. Search the premises. Uh, Doom Lake Giant. You get Titania. You get two of those. Turok, the uh, old school one. Magus the Bridge. <laughs> Mirage card. That's funny. Verdon Catacombs. Fractured Sanity. Very cool. Ornithopter. I love the uh, retro one. Cut the territorials at a time. Kamigawa card. That's funny. Another Turok mythic right there. Another Titania. Uh, Changes to presence. Very cool. Tile provision. Yeah, you get. You get some good. You get. You have a. You have a Maya. Another tile provision. You get several good um, uncommons for sure. Uh, definitely what you're looking for. The M21 uncommon for a list card. It's so stupid. Um, Turbo taxi. That, that's such a cool old school foil. Um, counter spell. I want to look at real torque. Oh, yeah, it's, I forgot what these are. The um, Spylem and Sea and Sky with a retro mythic and Sarah's Emissary. Very cool. Sarah's Emissary. Dragon Race Chandler. Yeah, yeah. Um, Sarah's Emissary. Is that one of the higher ones? I can't remember. Or is that on the lower end? That's oh, a few bucks. Nothing crazy. Um, I'm just, I'm just double checking. Like some, I haven't looked at the price of these in a long time. Um, they're they're pretty steady from where they were. Um, maybe down a little bit, but um, I mean that Torak um, retro was like a ten dollar card. That's pretty awesome. Um, yeah, definitely good stuff, man. Um, so the, Penny, I'm gonna send these out to you tomorrow. Um, no monkey. Unfortunately, not yet, but we got more packs to go. So I'll leave this where they are. Uh, I'll save that battle for when that's all set. But these cards I will ship out to you guys, and they'll get out to you tomorrow. Um, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. All right, thanks. I'll catch you later.